What is up guys and welcome to the long awaited return of Capital City Sports from all 37 of my subscribers. I'm glad you guys are still here. I know it's been a several month long hiatus and I'm sorry, I guess. For real, I've just been super, super busy doing other things in life like work and school and this is my main channel. If you haven't checked that out, link to it in the description below if you're into gaming. But today we're going to talk about the 2018 NFL season and namely the 2018-2019 NFL playoffs. So today we're going to be discussing the AFC and which teams I think will make the playoffs. There might be a few surprises in there for you guys. But if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I'm going to try to be more active through the season. And also, you know, summer wasn't a really big time for sports. So as the fall approaches, I'm going to be trying to be a lot more uh, active. And I want to try to do weekly recaps of each uh, week in the NFL. So 17 week long um, series, I suppose, of just recaps. What impressed me, what didn't impress me, things like that. Teams I think are on the rise, on the fall. Just, just stuff like that, just to be more active on this channel because uh, I love sports and I really don't make enough content on this channel and I want to change that. So without any further ado, let's get into the AFC and I'm going to start off with the division winners and then get into the wildcard teams. But we're going to start off at four and make our way up to one, so a, bit, a little bit of suspense. So coming in at our four seed, we are going to have the Los Angeles Chargers. Now, Los Angeles is one of those sneaky teams that always just sits around 9-7, and 8-8. Eight and eight. But last year, they came this close to making the playoffs, and I feel like they could have had a run if they did make those playoffs. But this is a team with a defense that most people just overlook. They got Joey Bosa, they've got Melvin Ingram, Casey Hayward, uh, the newly drafted Derwin James, who is an absolute monster, by the way. I've seen him play many, many times. But you also have things that... Uh, have to fall into play for this to happen like Mike Williams needs to step up They just lost Hunter Henry for the season they lost Verrett for the season So they will have some challenges along the way, but in the AFC West I don't see the Chiefs challenging them because Mahomes they lost some key pieces on defense and Marcus Peters uh, Denver uh, they have the defense, but I just don't know how Case Keenum's gonna work out there and Oakland Who knows that they're the biggest wild card in all of this, but I think Los Angeles has the chance to make a run in the playoffs this season. So in the three seed, we have the AFC North champion, and that is going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers. Once again, I don't really see anyone challenging them, especially not, especially the Bengals and the Ravens. I, they're just, I don't see it. They got the Triple Bs, which are always good. They always make the playoffs usually, but they're never like good enough to win the Super Bowl. So I have them hitting the three seed this year. Who knows what the situation with Lev Bell is going to be going into the season. Uh, if everyone can stay healthy, of course, they're going to make the playoffs. Uh, defense is a little bit shaky, but other than that, they're going to have a good run into the playoffs. And our second seed is going to be the AFC East champion, the New England Patriots. That is right. I have them as the number two seed, contrary to probably most people who have them going as the number one seed in the AFC, but we'll get to that team in a minute. But the number two seed will be the New England Patriots. They'll be in the playoffs. If Tom Brady, I mean, even without Tom Brady, they can make the playoffs. Maybe, I don't know. They got Hoyer now, but they'll make it. They got Brady. They got Belichick. Uh, Sony Michelle just did recently get injured, but I have faith in him that he'll be what they drafted him for and what they need him for. Rob Gronkowski, if he stays healthy, best tight end in the, in the game. So I don't know what else there is to really talk about with them. They're going to make the playoffs, and they'll probably be one or two seed. But for me, I have them as the two seed. Now coming into our number one seed, if I told you this a year ago, you would laugh in my face, spit in my face, stomp in my face, whatever. But it's going to be the Jacksonville Jaguars, and I can almost guarantee that it will because of that absolutely stellar defense that will be unstoppable in year two as a unit together. You got two of the best corners in the game in Boye and Ramsey. You've got two of the best pass rushers in the game in Calais Campbell and Yannick Ngakwe, who is still underrated, and I do not understand why. But I guarantee you this year, he is going to make his name a household name, even though it should be already because the dude has just piled up tons and tons of sacks and strip sacks, which is his specialty. But besides that, you got a good linebacking core, Miles Jack, Telvin Smith. Now, who that other third linebacker is that will replace Paul Puzlesny will be a question. 
uh, they bolstered the strongest part of the team, which is the defensive line, in the draft with drafting Taven Bryan, which I've seen the dude play in college because I was a huge Florida State fan. Uh, I've, I've watched him play against us uh, at the University of Florida, and I cannot stand him because he would always be in our backfield. He, he just reminds me of J.J. Watt, and with the proper training, with the proper work, he'll be that guy. And it's going to be scary to see what Taven Bryan could be in the future. So this defense along with adding also Safari and Jenkins, which is a huge, huge, hugely underrated ad. I'm telling you, ASJ will be a fantasy viable option because I think they need a big guy like that, a good receiving tight end for Blake Bortles to throw to as well as for Leonard Fournette. Uh, he's just gonna he's just gonna do his thing again. They got Andrew Norwell on the offensive line, bolstering that offensive line. He'll have him a 1,000, 1,200 yard season. So uh, all accounts are saying Jacksonville Jaguars, number one seed. So with that being said, let's get into our two wildcard teams for the 2018-2019 NFL season. Now many of you will probably laugh in my freaking face when I tell you this, but as the sixth seed, I have the Cleveland Browns. Now hear me out, hear me out, hold on. Hold on before you crucify me. Let me just get a few things out of the way. The Cleveland Browns will have a last place schedule. That means they're gonna play all the last place teams from the prior year. So they got an easy schedule on their side. They're in the third year with their head coach, so the systems will be in place and the same. They added a monster receiver in Jarvis Landry, who you can tell from the Hard Knocks episode is not playing around. He's trying to get stuff done in the Cleveland Browns locker room. Add him with Josh Gordon if he's back and doing, you know, playing football again by the time the season starts. Who knows what up, what's up with him, but I think he will be back for the regular season. And you got Baker Mayfield, Tyrod Taylor. The, the Browns were in a lot of close games last year, believe it or not, and they had Deshaun Kaiser as quarterback, and he wasn't even good in college. I've never been high on him, even in college. He, he had like a four and eight team in college. He's, he's not a good quarterback. Uh, we'll see how Baker Mayfield plays off. I think he's got the instincts. Uh, Tyrod Taylor is a good guy to just not turn the ball over. So I think they'll, get nine, eight, nine wins uh, this year, and that could be good enough to bolster them right into that six seed. Now, as for the five seed, I think they'll have a better record than maybe the, the four seed and maybe even the three seed, and that is gonna be the Houston Texans. A healthy Deshaun Watson, a healthy J.J. Watt, a healthy Jadavian Clowney, a healthy Tyron Matthew, a healthy Whitney Merciless. I'm, DeAndre Hopkins, who he, he seems to stay healthy, is one of the most underrated elite receivers in the league. Man, this team, being a fan of the Jaguars and the AFC South, they scare me. I don't care what anyone says about, oh, their offensive line is bad and all these things. No, Deshaun Watson, I knew this coming out of college, was going to be a beast. I watched him play at Clemson. I watched him play in person a couple times at FSU. The dude, is he wins games and he's going to win games. And I could see them finishing 11 and five 12 and 4 and being a wild card team because the Jaguars are probably going to win 13 games. I'd say around 13 games is what the Jaguars would win. But man, the Texans are a scary team. And if they can just stay healthy, man, I'm telling you, this team is going to wreak havoc with all of these superstars on this roster. And on top of this, they finished last in the AFC South. So you know what that means? Last place schedule, just like the Browns. So easy schedule. There you go, lots of wins. This is a similar situation to the Jaguars last year. They got a, a, a nice, healthy roster coming in and they had a last place schedule, boom, AFC Championship game. So it'll be something to see as the season, but this is what I think will happen for the AFC playoffs in 2018-2019 season. Now stick around for next week and when I will go through the NFC contenders and then soon after I will have the teams advance through the brackets and then have a Super Bowl prediction for you guys. But that will be in the next week or so as the preseason really gets uh, kicking. And obviously these predictions are before preseason so they are all without injuries throughout the preseason because you know there's going to be some major injuries in preseason. There already has been injuries in camp but these are all prior to any devastating injuries to key players on these teams. But that is gonna wrap it up for today's Capital City Sports video. If you like this video, check us like rating down below. If you didn't, dislike down below. Most of you will dislike it because I didn't pick your team, so that's okay, whatever. It boosts the video and the ad algorithm anyways. But like I said guys, subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching.